predators look for victims and victims have a look. There have been studies that have been done on it. It also has to do a lot with the way you walk. Magtech has maintained their high quality during the ammo panic and ramped production to the max. Their ammo is the only ammo I run on the range because of its performance and reliability. I recommend Magtech wholeheartedly. Okay, so what does emotional fitness look like? We have done seminars and video series and all kinds of stuff talking about emotional fitness, but it sort of just means being fit emotionally. <laughs> and you can become more fit emotionally by practicing being healthy and being what you want to be. So value yourself. Realize that you are of inestimable value. You're precious and you're worth being fiercely protected and defended. I believe that partially because I am a Jesus follower. I believe all innocent life is worthy of being fiercely protected and defended. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to step in and do it, but you should be willing to, to embrace that about yourself and consider it and think about it. Uh, boundaries are good. Boundaries are really good things, and they're also really hard things. Um, they should be involved in all of your relationships and encounters. You should always know what good and comfortable and healthy boundaries are for you. And if you practice those in normal parts of your life, it gets a little easier when a guy's trying to kind of step over them just a little bit in a, in a, in a public encounter. You've already practiced saying get back, no, whatever. I don't need you to like me. I don't need to be polite. I don't need to have any of these things going on. But I also practice a lot of those difficult and uncomfortable things in my own life. I looked at uh, toxic family members and I've drawn very strong boundaries that they are not bringing value into my life. They're not blessing my life. They're not making it better. And I'm comfortable saying, you can go be that over there. So I practice that in my space. It makes it easier when someone that I don't know is going to try to be toxic. You think if, I don't, if I'm not going to put up with it with whatever, my sister, am I going to put up with it with Joe Bull at the grocery store? No, I'm not. So that's one way you can start moving towards that. Start finding ways that you're not necessarily being victimized in your personal life, but maybe where you're not being as healthy as you could be. And thinking those through, and how can you practice doing that more? Doing it more better. Okay? Um, know who you are and cultivate this attitude of confidence and competence and self-worth. Um, predators look for victims and victims have a look. There have been studies that have been done on it. It also has to do a lot with the way you walk. But have you ever known anyone that's been victimized and then you find out they've been victimized multiple times in their life? It's like a thing that happens to them. You're like, what is going on with this person? Very often it's because they sort of embody this, this a victim's walk, a victim's um, affect and, and countenance. Predators are really good at what they do and they can pick out people that can be victimized. You can practice that as well. It's a little bit creepy, but if I said you have to uh, victimize someone in this room in some way, what are you going, who are you going to pick? You know, and if you had to take some time and look, you can say, well, I don't know who I'm going to pick, but I'm not going to, Laura's already chosen Mike. <laughs> but that's a really creepy, uncomfortable thing to think about. But I had that happen to me sitting at a bar once. It was, it was where we were eating though. It was at like July 4th and we're at, at this small town bar having lunch. And this girl is standing there. I don't remember what it was about her. She was, she was dressed fairly skimpily and, and whatever. She was a young, pretty girl. But there was just this sort of vacant look and she'd already had too much to drink and she was by herself. And I thought, that girl's gonna be in trouble by the, by the time the night's over. And then I thought, yikes, that's a really uncomfortable thing to think. I'd never, that was when I was first starting to get into self-defense. Otherwise that would have flown past me, the idea of that sort of risk analysis. Did she, would she have deserved anything that happened to her? Absolutely not. But what I mean is if I could see it, the nice mom sitting at the table having lunch with her family, do you think somebody that's looking for it can't see it? So start, if you can become more comfortable, more confident, project a little bit stronger attitude, these things can diminish some of your chances of being victimized. Um, the, one of the biggest studies that I know analyzed and found out that uh, gait was a serious factor in uh, predators choosing victims, people with shorter gaits, people that tend to have a gaze that walk down, um, they tended to be victimized at a higher rate. They did a pretty cool study where they filmed random crowd scenes and then showed it to criminals in prisons that victimized strangers, not, and they continue to choose the same people over and over again.